I really don't think y'all understand how bad it is in the southeast right now. We have towns that don't exist anymore. Chimney Rock is, is gone. The city of Asheville is cut off from the world. This, this is not an exaggeration. All the bridges leading into the city have been washed away. They have no food, no power, no water, no internet, no cell service. They don't even have radio. It's a, com it's a complete like dead zone. Like, no one knows what's going on in there. I don't think I'm being dramatic when I say that this is a Hurricane Katrina level event. Uh, there was a woman in my town who called for an ambulance and the ambulance got stranded. And they were stranded for like 24 hours and to my knowledge the patient didn't make it. Pe people are dying. Uh, they're still dying. I've been running the generator for the last three days and we're starting to run out of gas and this is on Highway 123 heading from Aisley to, uh, to Greenville. And this was a one mile long line to get gas because they were the only people we knew around that had gas left. I got all the way to the end and they were out. They had no gas. We checked every gas station in Pickens and Easley and, and Liberty. Nothing. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of gas. I'll tell you that much. Try to steal some from my car maybe to keep my food cold. But even then, I don't know. This is the I-40 bridge, you know, from Tennessee to North Carolina. It's 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 gone. It don't exist no more either. Well, um, we got people dying out here. Man, we, we need help. We need help. <clears throat> all right, Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. And much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, you see it. We're in the visitation of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hurricane Helene leaves at least 69 dead as losses of a lifetime devastate residents. See? This is clearly Yahweh by Yahweh Shai visiting the world which she made real quick. Let's get the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> Chapter 28 and verse 2. Behold, the Lord have a mighty and strong one, which as the as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth. With the hand, so is Yahweh by shout, shout, orchestrating these things, man. He the one who sent that storm, the unalive 69. And a guy said in the video, it's going to increase. All right? You got these different mud slides and floods happening, dams overflowing. Well, that's Yahweh by shout, shout, visiting this place, man. Real quick, Isaiah chapter 29. And verse 6, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. You see? So we are clearly in the visitation of Yahweh by Shah. All right? And these things are going to intensify. They're going to grow. All right? You're going to have more catastrophic hurricanes, tornadoes, wildfires, earthquakes, man. Again, these things are going to increase, right? Second Ezra, what is that? Second Ezra real quick. We'll get some in this article Go real quick. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen, right? It's going to be greater than the hurricane that we just seen, okay? It says, shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein, right? The evil's going to increase, man. Again, this article, Hurricane Helene leaves at least 69 dead as losses of a lifetime devastate residency it says north carolina 
right? Flat Rock, North Carolina. States across the southeastern U.S. started a massive cleanup and recovery effort on Sunday after the winds, rain, and storm surges, yeah, those floods, from Hurricane Helene snuffed out power for millions. Yeah, it's over 2 million people without power. You see? It says devastated roads and bridges and caused catastrophic flooding from Florida to Virginia. See? The storm killed at least 69 people, according to the state and local officials in South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and Virginia. Officials feared still more bodies would be discovered. Yeah, it's going to be more bodies, man. All right? Then the Lord said, they shall build, but I will throw down. Well, that's the Lord again, showing you he's working mightily in the planet Earth. What is that? Psalms 83, persecute them with our tempers. Let's get that. Okay? And you people, you want to know who your high about shower shot is. Through the judgment which he executed. All right? Psalms chapter 83. And you read up in here. All right? It, it uh, lists the uh, the uh, ones that's called confederate with Esau. All right? And cutting us off. So let's see how the Lord is going to pay, pay these people back. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid of thy storm, right? Hey, man, you can see the fear and terror in the, in, the, in the look of those people after that storm hit, all right? Their speech, the whole mindset has been changed, all right? It says, fear their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? And guess what? They would call upon some type of relief, but the Lord didn't give it to him. Why? Because he's only hearing the cry of the elect, man. Okay? And the elect is crying out for the destruction of America, Babylon, the great, which we are seeing happen. What's that? Uh, Second Ezra 9. Let's get that. <clears throat> All right? So when we see these storms and these tempests, and these floods and wildfires and earthquakes, we know it's the visitation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see? All right? Just as we read in Isaiah 29, this is the visitation of Yahweh by Shavah coming by the way of these storms and these tempests. All right? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, it's also earthquakes, and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, which is what? Prophecy. So the Lord has been declaring and decreeing these things of old, and we're seeing them play out. Okay? What is that? Uh, you have no need that I write unto you. Let's get that. For yourselves know very well. Yeah, we know very well. All right? The Lord has uh, woken us up. To the things that he's doing in the planet Earth. All right. And they're causing us to walk in fear. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come up as a thief in the night. Right. It's going to happen unexpectedly, man. It's going to catch these people off guard. Hey, as that storm did, you know, they, they had uh, been warned, all right, and they was getting prepared, but they didn't understand the devastation that the Lord was going to push forth. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, 
and they shall not escape. And hey, 69 unalive did not escape, man. Bridges destroyed. You know? Look at that. You know? Homes flooded. Devastation. You see? Hey, man, it's going to get way worse. It's going to get a whole, a whole lot worse, man. So much so, these people are going to be in a state of perplexity. They're not going to have any answers. They're not going to have a way out. Okay? Back to that article. It says, damages, estimates, range from $15 billion, damn, to more than $100 billion. Insurers and forecasters said over the weekend property damage <laughs> and lost economic output will become clearer as officials assess the destruction. Yeah, again, it's the Lord taking away the structure of this place, man. All right. Washing away critical bridges, you know, critical roads. You know, that guy said it was a whole mile uh, a mile long line for people trying to get gas. He was trying to keep running his his generator, you know. Well, that's the Lord bringing the calamity of Esau upon him. Matter of fact, what is that? Jeremiah, All right? Jeremiah, chapter forty nine, <clears throat> and yep. Yeah, let's start at verse seven concerning Edom. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more teeming? Is counsel passed from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Right. Yeah, their wisdom is vanished. They're making all the wrong moves, all the wrong decisions. That's the Lord drying up that green tree. Right? Verse 8, flee ye, turn back. Dwell deep, O inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. As you can see, the visitation of Yahweh by Shabbat is in full and in effect, man. You see? So that's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Wadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Ray Millstone. Lord willing, coming at you another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.